Uh, good morning. This is going to be a, a two or three part uh, uh, tutorial on using Keynote to make a uh, animated text lead-in to uh, other QuickTime presentations and how we combine them using a QuickTime Player 10 and QuickTime uh, 7 or Pro also. So we're, we're going to start that. I'd like to start with, with opening uh, Keynote and just choosing a simple background. Uh, we're going to do a, uh, a select all. We're going to delete all of that. We're going to come up here to the text box and start that. We'll, we'll select the text. We're going to type in your um, whatever your animated text is going to be. Uh, we're going to select that. We're going to choose uh, fonts. We'll make it big. We'll give it some color. We'll close that. We'll close that. We'll open the inspector. Uh, we'll come over here to uh, graphics. Well, we're still on the text. We'll put shadow in. White. White is fine. We'll stay with white. Um, we'll uh, make the offset. Eh, that's all right. 11 or 12. That's fine. Uh, we'll close this. Now there we've got the, the desktop dead with, with the white shadow. Uh, we can uh, now we can we can play it. There's what it looks like there, but it's not animated yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here. We're going to select this. We're going to go back to our inspector. We're going to choose build, which is the third one over here, the little uh, little diamond shape that uh, is swooping in and swooping out. We're going to build in. We're going to change it from none. I'm going to make it squish because I like that. Here's the example. Build out. I'll choose the same. It'll do the opposite. And... Uh, I only need them to do this. Go back to my document setting in the in inspector. Do automatically play. Do self play. We're going to change the slide custom slide to uh, thirteen forty four. Whoop. And uh, eight forty. That happens to be the, the output size of uh, QuickTime ten for screen captures, and that's what we're going to combine this with later. Uh, let's get a preview now. See what this looks like. There, that's what it looks like. And here it goes away. And we got a little extra black on there. And we'll take care of that shortly. Uh, now we're all ready to export it. We'll do file, export. Everything should already be set. We don't need to do anything here. We need to say next. We need to give it a name. I'm going to call it lead-in. And I'm going to export it. Already got one out there. We'll replace it. Uh, it shows the exporting process. It says it's going to uh, export it to QuickTime, which is what we want. And once it's it's all, all done, we'll get a look at it here. Let's just minimize this. Let's... Uh, let's see if we can find. There's the lead-in right there. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it up in in QuickTime Pro, QuickTime Seven. Okay, that looks good. But we have an extra long black uh, after after it runs. Let's look at it again. You see, there's an awful extra amount of black here. We don't need that. So what we're going to do, over here on the left hand side, um, uh, we'll, we'll see two little brackets together. We're going to choose the right one. We're going to run it over here until we get about where we want it to stop. Uh, right there. That's a long lead in. We'll say, go up here to edit and QuickTime Player 7 and we're going to say trim to selection. And now we've got it shortened now. Okay, that ought to be good. Now what we're going to do now, I'm going to stop, 
and this is the first part. Now you've used you've used uh, your uh, uh, the keynote and saved it and done your settings. Uh, you've opened it up uh, up into into QuickTime Seven, and this is what it looks like. So we'll pause here for a. All right. Now what I'd like to show you is how to combine these uh, uh, these two parts together. We have a uh, an animated text lead-in that we've done with the uh, um, keynote, and we've done a part two, or I've done a part two which you haven't seen yet. It's just a short little uh, screen capture that I've done with uh, QuickTime 10. Even though I'm using QuickTime 10 to make these pieces, we're basically using QuickTime 7 for combinations. So QuickTime 7, or QuickTime Pro if you wish, this is how we're going to do it. Now you can see over here, I've got a uh, I've got a part one movie. Here it is. I'm going to take this part one, which is really uh, the old lead-in, and I'm going to drop it into QuickTime 7. Reduce the size so it can work with it. Here it is. And again, this one is, is, is much, much too long, so while I'm just right here, I'm going to do it. I'm going to shorten it in QuickTime 7. I'm going to say trim to selection. Now I've got this one. Uh, I've got my lead in here. It's shortened. It's the way I want it. But what I would like to do is to put this other little little part right onto it. So I'm going to drag my Part 2 movie. Here it is. I've done that this earlier uh, off screen in, in QuickTime 10. But remember, we're working in QuickTime 7. Even though this was made in QuickTime 10, I'm going to drag this into here. And it's going to put it behind the lead-in. And you can see, here's my lead-in. Hit. And then over here is, is my other thing. We'll jump to the end here now. I, I'm, I'm going to let it run. There it is there. There's my lead-in. It's going to zap off. Close it. Now, now it's going to... part two for a combination. Now I've got, I, I've got two all together here. I've, I've got one and I've got two. Here, here they are all together. So what I need to do now, since I've got them together, they're not saved yet. So I need to, uh, I, I I need to export them. Now, don't do a save. You you must do an export. Now we're going to call this, uh, we'll call this part one and two. Part one and two. Save it to the desktop, and it'll ex export it. It's going to take a few minutes to export, so I'm going to pause. Well, I hope this has helped you a little bit. Uh, we'll do some more tutorials on uh, using Keynote and some animations to go into this. Uh, using QuickTime 10 and QuickTime 7 together is kind of cumbersome sometimes, but uh, you can make it work for you. So until the next time, this is Desktop Dad. We'll see you later.